This is a massive US-based cohort review that looked at COVID on placentitis, stillbirth, and uh, maternal vaccination with resultant clinical pathology. The study is focused between March 1st, 2020 and February 28th, 2021, with the major finding being that mothers who were infected with COVID during pregnancy uh, were more likely to have preterm delivery requiring intensive care, intubation, and me mechanical ventilation, and to have a fatal hospital outcome where the uh, baby is stillborn or died. COVID causes three things to happen to the placenta. Increased fibrous blood clotting, placental lesions, and death of the tissue in the placenta that does the nutrient and oxygen exchange. These three factors together have resulted in a new term being coined, which is SARS-CoV-2 placentitis, which can affect more than 75% of the placenta, effectively rendering it incapable of performing oxygenation and leading to stillbirth and neonatal death via malperfusion and placental insufficiency, so you're not getting enough blood nor nutrients to the fetus. This is what these conditions look like in a placenta that was infected with SARS-CoV-2 through the mother. And for reference, here is a healthy placenta. You can see these diffuse areas of blood clotting, with these darker areas here being regions of necrosis or cell death. This is the proposed mechanism of development of placental infection, where the mother gets infected with COVID, the virus enters the bloodstream from the respiratory tract. This circulates to the maternal plasma through viremia, um, and then this reaches the bloodstream through the placenta, and then uh, this infects the local area, causing uh, cell death, blood clotting, and placentitis. This viremia and RNAemia is just a term that was coined to describe the fact that COVID is detectable in the human bloodstream. The better fantastic news is that multiple studies have confirmed that uh, the mRNA vaccines are safe and effective when given during pregnancies, that these vaccines do not cause placental pathology or abnormalities that we see with COVID. And in a recent study that compared 66,000 vaccinated women against those that were pregnant that contracted COVID, which the number is about 424,000, um, there was an association with a 15% reduction in stillbirths uh, in the COVID vaccinated population. So if you do become pregnant, please do get vaccinated. Um, maternal vaccination will ultimately protect the fetus and the newborn.